Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be explaining how I use Redux with TypeScript and of course React and how I create my type and what kind of, like why I do this and stuff and the two different ways, especially um, how I use my action creators. And sometimes I don't use the action, crea action creators at all since I have the type system in place and I actually don't use the actions at all. I just put them directly in there since I have the type again, since I have the type system in place. So this is the, the small demo app. So here you can add something to the car and you can have real time uh, update of this. And the way this works is if you remove, you can actually remove this product like from the store itself. And that should affect this price. Like if you increase this and you remove it, it should affect it. Also, if you add this to cart, and you reduce, you can see it shows down here in the basket, the goodie bag. So if I remove that, let's use milk because I have two goodie bags there. Let's add that. We have it like 10 milk or something here. So if you reduce this again, when you reduce this to zero, again, this disappears and the button is disabled. And when you have multiple stuff, you have chocolate. Let's also add like water. So let's assume this is something coming from your API. You can then do a lot of stuff with it. And when you check out, you have everything here and the total price. And you can also remove. And when you remove, it should reflect here. And when you go back, you should also have like 185. So this is all like global state management. And I'm going to walk you through how I um, did this. And also how I use my type checking with TypeScript. So if we go to the app, I'm just going to close this real quick. This is my setup. So I have my components. You can ignore this, this and this right now. So I have my components here and I have my pages. So my pages are basically each page, like every page you go to. This is the checkout page. And this is the shopping cart page. I guess I should call this like product page or something and this is just like a checkout page then you have routes also so these are my different routes that takes care of like when you go to the shopping cart page and when you go to the checkout page so the first thing you need to do is first you have your redux store right so yeah i have like different you can have like multiple reducers yeah i have just like one reducer which is the cart reducer and everything that has to do with the cart reducer will be under this. If you have like art reducer, then we're gonna create another like folder for that with the action, the reducers, and the type. And you can just go under this root reducer. This is where you're gonna be combining all your reducer. So if we have art reducer, you just add that also art reducer and what have you. You can include everything. Then this takes care of like getting the global state type so we are inferring the type from the root reducer we are extracting it from it and we can use that wherever we want to so let's take a look at the cat reducer we have the actions so the, the yeah we have the action creators basically and you know when we were using just vanilla javascript then we needed to use like action separately so normally you would put this in action and do something like um, const add item equals this then use this and this was just to prevent errors and stuff so this is what we would do back then um, but now it's it's not really necessary because you have like this type system in place and what this is doing is actually i'm i'm using this new const assertion in typescript so th this makes sure your types cannot be expanded and i have another video on this if you're interested called like the const assertion in TypeScript. You can check it out on my channel. So I have these various action creators. And actually now with this TypeScript in place, we don't need to use action creators anymore because action creators just helps us to reduce like errors. They return plain object and they just try to make our life easier. Like if you're using vanilla JavaScript. But with TypeScript, you can actually create, with TypeScript, you can create the type for your like actions so if we come here for example you see these various actions we already created this if you have this in place you really don't need the 
action creators anymore. Then what you can do, so you what I do is I either use the action creators. If I'm using the action creators, then I don't use the type definition. I don't I don't use this. Um, I guess from here, all these action creators types, I don't use them. If I'm using action creators, then I infer the action types from all my action creators. So if we go to this place, we have all my action creators here that return plain object. Then here, I'm just inferring the types. And this is how you do it. You say like return type of whatever your action creator is. And what you can see here, it shows that this is like read only. The type and the payload are read only. And it shows that this takes in a payload. So this is one way. And now you can now use this action that has been inferred. You can use it in your reducer. So this is my reducer. Don't be daunted. I'm going to explain what's going on here. So basically, this is the reducer. If I put this on the line, it might be clear enough. So this takes in the state which with the initial state. And the initial state type has been defined here. So what was that? Shopping cart state. And here we can see the shopping cart state as like product, basket, and total price. So um, that's that. You also have your actions. So the actions are the ones that I inferred from this. So for my cart actions, I have all these various actions which I like derived from my action creators. And you can pass it here. And also you expect this reducer to, redu to return a shopping cart state, which is like what we have here. So the good thing about this is, let me cancel, like, for example, let me show you something here. If you want to use like an action here, let, let me pull it back. Let's cancel this. You get this autocomplete immediately you do this. So you know what to use. And let's say, for example, like we had here, we're using remove item. If you're trying to use, let's go back to this action creator. Um, and let's see. Let's see, for example, okay, let's see this deduct item. You see, deduct item I expect price and quantity also. But if you're trying to do that here, like you don't have access to action dot product price. So like it's very specific. But when you go to like deduct item price, you see you have access to like action dot product price, quantity and types, which is a good, which is really nice, right? So this is how I use it. It takes the initial state and my action that, and when you over this, you see this, it takes like either this first one add item, which is like read only. It means you can expand the type with the payload of basket. And it also takes the remove item and what have you, which is what, how I go about it. Another way um, you could do this is, if you're not gonna be using the action creators, then you don't need all this actually. If you're using the action creators in the component, this is how you can sort of like use that. Let's see if I still have that. So here, of course, when you do like dispatch, so if we say decrement price, which is part of our action creators, you see that this expects um, product price, which is a type of number, right? And the type is decrement price, you see it here. So here we, we just pass in the price like we did down here. So this is if you're using your action creator. But if you're not using the action creator, like if you come here, you're not using all this, which you don't have to anymore if you're using TypeScript. You can basically just define all the interfaces for various like actions. So add item, takes in type and baskets and stuff like that and you create a union of all these action types this is the second alternative so this we are doing this directly and manually and whatever you have in that case you can now do something if you go to this place like dispatch you can pass in the object directly and you're sure that you're going to be getting the, an autocomplete so there's not going to be like bug or mistake in your code at least it's going to be very minimal so if you type in like type here if we pull in this, it already gives us suggestion. You see why you don't need action creators anymore? 
So if I put in like, um, was that decrement price, right? It still complains. So it expects what? It still expects product price, right? And if we come here, we can put product price, which we get from here. So really, like with this second one, you don't need to create action creators anymore. And another, let's try to see another example. If we try to like dispatch, um, let's see another type. Let's see the docs item price. Then we see that this expects what more? It expects ID, which will be string, product price, number, quantity, um, number. So you know what to expect. ID is meant to be like string, then product quantity, and product price. So Another alternative would that if we if we were to use action creators, then we might have to do something like deduct item price. Then here we just pass in the ID. Um, what else? Product price and the quantity. So these are like two alternatives. So when you're using this one directly, you don't need action creators anymore. And you're sure that you're gonna be getting autocomplete. And with this, and with this, like you know what to expect. And if you don't pass in one of these, like it's gonna complain. So you're you can be sure that this is gonna like work for you, which is actually nice. So one thing, all this should be read only. It should all be read only. You don't need how many types. Type should. Yes. Yeah, so um, those are the two ways I would approach it. But um, again, you can use the action creators. If you're using the action creators with the const assertion, you don't have to create all this again. You don't need this. It's just like extra code. When you have the um action creators here you can just infer the types here and find the union of everything and with that you set and you don't forget that you get it you get dispatch um from this using these books use dispatch so you pass in like this dispatch type which comes from redux and your action type that's how you get the autocomplete uh, we were talking about. And again, that's it. That's how I use the Redux. And I'll be linking this code in the description below if you just want to like take a look and just play around with it. And um, I think that's pretty much everything for this video. And if you're interested, I could make like a full tutorial of how I did this like from scratch or something if anyone is interested. And I can do a tutorial of this and how you can use this with like SAS and you see just sort of like makes your code cleaner and yeah I'm using the BAM um, convention like block element uh, modifier which makes your code easier to reason with and you don't and it, it's easier to just find different uh, elements in your code um, one thing I think I mentioned for the state so for the global state I just get that directly from this like from the root reducer which i then pass here mm. okay i think that's pretty much everything for this video let me see pages check out see this is how i'm using them dispatching this action and another action see All right. Again, um, that's it for this video. I'll be coming with. I'll be coming out with more videos. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, thanks. Um, see you in the next video.